Well, hello everybody welcome back to the channel um, today I just quickly wanted to show you this cool thing someone showed me on our discord um, in, in here in Florida that uh, the M5 launcher now I know um, it's been around for a while so I'm a little late on this but um, it goes onto your LilyGo T deck if you have one of those and you'll see it over there that's the launcher and I'll go show you how to install it. But if you leave it, what the launcher does, it launches into the last firmware you installed. Um, you know, or the last firmware that you used. So it's a firmware switcher, if I can put it that way. So um, if I just leave it like that, it starts up and it's go, gonna go into the Mestastic firmware. So there's a few seconds lag in the beginning, but then it boots right into Mestastic, and in this case it's 2611. That's uh, the firmware that, I, that I'm booting, that I have on this LiliGo T-Deck. And there it is, you can see um, I have my tiles and my maps and everything's there. You know, 40 nodes online, everything's cool. Um, I'm going to turn this off now, this LiliGo, I, you know, with the off button. I'm going to turn it on again. But this time I'm going to hit on launcher and then this little menu appears, which is SD, and I'll, I'll go through this in, in a second. But if I hit SD, it's looking on my SD card, and I can see there are, you know, maps and tiles, and but there's two firmware files here. And, um, you know, if I go to, let's say, this firmware, and I hit select, and I say install firmware, it is now installing that firmware onto the TDEC. So I'm switching firmware. So in that firmware, after it's installed, now it boots it. Now it's a mesh core device, right? And there's my mesh core stuff. So uh, um, now um, I'm running. Um, I can choose between running, um, you know, Mestastic or mesh core on the same device. Hopefully that makes sense. So um, it's a firmware switcher. And what's cool, uh, cooler even than that is um, if you can see here there's files and there's version numbers. So I can have different versions of, uh, uh, of the firmware. Um, and I'll go show you how to get those firmware files in a second here. But that's what it does. Um, the other thing that it does um, is... Again, if you turn it on, if I leave it, it will go into um, uh, a mesh core because that's the last one I booted, so I don't have to do anything. That's the last firmware I used and goes straight into into a mesh core. But um, if I touch it, then I get to this menu. So if I select configuration, we can see that it is, a, you know, we can change the brightness, the dim timeout. There's all sorts of things we can change here. and you, you know, move by selecting down the bottom here, restart, you know, and it, it, it all runs on the SD card. You saw the SD card um, uh, uh, file system. But so I'm going to go back to the main menu, but I'm going to choose WUI. And if I uh, do that, it's going to scan for my network. And um, like I always say, I have a, uh, uh, you know, a, m a network set up just for for this kind of thing, which is this uh, 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 a little network that I created. So it's going to connect there, and you can put your credentials in and stuff. Right, so um, it gives you an IP address. So if I go to that IP address, which is uh, 192.168.87.29, if I go there, the username is admin and the password is launcher. So I'm going to go admin the password launcher there we go sign in and there we go there's the file system the sd card now um in a little web server so i can um, you know upload send files or create folders move things around reboot you know i can do all sorts of things and i can change the username password and and that kind of thing so um it has uh, then a little, um, let's call it a web server 
inside of it as well. It, I don't know much about the USB. I think you can access the USB uh, device and files from there. Um, but the ones I really use is SD and uh, the little GUI if I want to put a uh, little web server if I want to put something on there. Otherwise, SD, there's the firmware files. Um, if I go and, um, you know, this time let's choose the Meshtastic firmware. And if I select that and I say install that, it's going to go ahead and install that firmware for me and um, boot that firmware. And then next time when I start up, it will flash the MD5. If I don't do anything, it's just going to boot the last firmware that I, that I had installed. So let me go show you on the PC quickly how all of this uh, works. Okay, so I'm going to go to the BM or Sally launcher uh, GitHub page and um, I'll put the links there. But you, you go there and um, you see here's the M5 launcher, the launcher. Um, you look for um, his uh, flasher. That's the launcher flasher. If you go in there, you can see he supports quite a few uh, uh, um, uh, devices, but here's the T deck. And it tells you how to put the T deck into, um, you know, uh, 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 programming mode. Uh, that's just by pressing, you know, the reset and holding a little ball. Um, then, you know, I'm going to go with the latest release, and it is a LilyGo. And here's all the LilyGos they support. There's a T deck Pro, but this is the one we usually have here in the US, which is a T deck, the normal or the T plus. You can click that link and you'll see, you know, that's a T deck. That's the one I have in any case. Um, and if you click on there, you can connect and you can do the normal flash. That's, uh, uh, you know, how you would normally flash it. It would flash the firmware on there. Then the second thing you do is you can go to mesh core and this is uh, to get the mesh core file or uh, a firmware, you uh, go to the web flasher and um, inside the web flasher there is a LilyGo T deck and you want the one that runs off an SD card and you hit download and there's literally a app firmware bin used with M5 bootloader. So you don't download that file and put that on the SD card, right? Then uh, for uh, uh, Mestastic, um, you come to the Mestastic firmware releases page. Um, and um, here's all the releases. Now, I think for the LilyGo, the T-Deck, the latest one that I used, that is the latest, that has the, the, the fancy UI, is this one. Um, so you would download this firmware. And it's down the bottom here, 2611. And now, since the LilyGo is a S3 processor, you probably want to download uh, the firmware. And let me click on it just to make sure. Uh, download the one that goes uh, ESP32C3. No, we want the S3. Ah, there it is. Lil uh, firmware ESP32S3. That's the file you want to download. Right, so once you downloaded that file, it would look something like, um, if we look in downloads, there's the file, you know, the file that I downloaded, ESP32S3, and then I extracted uh, the file, and inside here, there is the file called, um, and we're looking for TDEC, firmware TDEC, and you want the one with the TFT, that's a fancy UI one. So firmware T deck TFT 2611 2.6.11. I guess that's the one. That's the one you then put onto the SD card. And again, you can put it, you know, just put it onto the SD card, put the SD card in your PC and put it on. Or you can um, uh, actually uh, 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 just use that little GUI. The, the little web server and put it on there. And once you're done with that, then, um, you know, you basically, um, uh, uh, what I just showed you. And uh, uh, um, you can uh, uh, upload your maps and your, all of that kind of stuff, your tiles, and um, work like it, you know, can do both.
mesh tastic and mesh core. So hopefully you find found that helpful uh, and um, speak soon. Thank you for watching.